Hello and welcome to our video series on how to use interactive tools. In this video, we'll be focusing on Mentimeter and all its useful and interesting features. Mentimeter is an online polling tool that can enhance students' participation during lecture and provide instant feedback on how well students comprehend the lecture materials allowing you to adapt your lecture to their level of understanding. Mentimeter can also be used to make collective in-class discussions and counting hands would be too difficult, or doing quick surveys of student attitudes or opinions. Students respond anonymously to these questions, and the results are visualized in real time for the entire class to see. Mentimeter does not require any dedicated hardware, and there is no software to download. You can sign up for free with your email address here. To get started using Mentimeter, Log in your account. To create a presentation, you can choose template from the top of the screen, or you can create a presentation from scratch. Click New Presentation button to create a presentation. Provide the title for your presentation on the bar located on the top left of the screen. Click New Slide, it's on the top left again, and choose your question type from pop-up menu. There are different question types. Multiple choice, a question with a predetermined list of possible answers. Word cloud, a visualization of students submitted one-word responses. Open-ended free-form text responses. Scales allows your students to rate certain statements. Ranking students rank their preferences for a series of options. Question and answer allows the audience to submit questions to ask the presenter. I want to create a multiple choice question and I'm clicking on it. Notice also the three tabs just on the right side of the screen, Content, Design and Template. After selecting a question type, this menu will highlight the Content tab in which you can enter your questions and answers if appropriate for the question type. Write down your question here and add your options. You can add image for each option if you want. You must often show correct answer here. And after that, mark the correct option. Also, you can add an image for the question itself. On Design tab, you can choose Visualization type of the answer and the layout of the presentation. Your presentation is automatically saved. You can check it on the top bar here. In the upper right hand of the corner of the screen, click the Present button to start the session. Your first slide in this presentation should now be shown full screen. Across the top of the screen are instructions for participating in the polling session. After navigating to mind.com, students should enter the code shown on the screen and follow the instructions at that website to cast their votes. As students vote, the visualization of results will change automatically. Notice that the bottom left hand corner of the screen, there is an options menu here. When all votes have been received and you are ready to move on to the next question, you can just click the next slide button here. But we don't have another slide for this presentation. Then we click this icon, the presentation automatically ended. Now you know how to use Mentimeter. Thanks for watching. 
We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more video education content.